Hello, welcome to Broom and Boom, and today we are doing a review on the Sport Cub S. Let's get started. So, this plane is a really good plane if you want to start in the hobby. I, myself, use this. Uh, it was the first plane I ever flew, and it's, it's really easy to fly to start. It's very stable, and it can glide uh, very, very well. Like, if you cut the throttle, you can land it like that. It'll, it'll have... And uh, so, it also has a three-position switch on the remote as a fifth channel that can go from easy, medium, and hard. So easy would be, uh, it has gyros self-stabilizing. So if you take your hands off the controls, it will automatically self-stabilize. And they limit your how far your control surfaces go. So you can't really go more than this, this, or this. So then intermediate mode, they give you a little more uh, room to maneuver and they turn off the self-stabling gyros. So now you can go more like this, 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 that kind of thing. And then expert is basically an acro mode. And uh, that gives you, you know, you can do flips and rolls and all kinds of stuff. And that's what makes it such a great beginner plane because it can grow with you. And since the wings are on the top, not on the bottom or in the middle, it's very, very stable. And you can land it by cutting the throttle. That's how nice it glides. Horizon Hobby also put in what we call a safe, they call it a safe switch. It's a button that you hit and it stabilizes your plane. Like if you're on intermediate or expert, whatever crazy position you're in, if you hit the help button, the safe button, it goes whoop and it writes your plane. And it's, I've used it a lot. It really helps. So now let's talk about the durability. Since you're probably, if you want to buy this, you're probably starting out. It's very durable and it can take a lot of crashes. I myself crashed it so many times. Um, it's finally starting to see the wear, like this little cap here, front nose uh, broke off, and I've broken a couple props. But overall, it's really durable. I haven't cracked the wing or anything, and it's just crazy durable. I've taken it up 50 feet, went into a dive, hit the ground at who knows how many miles per hour and it's completely good so I really love it. It also is very good because it can transition speeds very well like you can use low throttle and it will be crawling along really slowly for beginners but if you give it full throttle and then go up and come into a dive and pull out you get going really fast and it's, it's very fun to fly even for the more experienced pilot so that's pretty good. Now Let's fly it. So now we're going to fly. So that was the Sport Cub S review. And uh, it was a bit windy for flying there. So I don't know. It was a bit choppy. I crashed a couple times, but hey, it held up. It's quite durable. So um, if you're getting into it, it's this uh, getting into the hobby. This is a great plane to start with. Um, so that's all. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment on what you want us to do next and what we should do better. This is only our second video as Room and Boom. So um, please help us out.